Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to automatically synchronize services between BMC Helix CMDB and BMC Discovery. For this demo, let's take a look at this BMC Discovery 24.1 version. Let's log into the appliance with system user. So in this demo, the BMC Discovery appliance is already on 24.1 version or upgraded to 24.1 version and the CMDB integration is already available. Let's go to administration and click on CMDB sync. If you model applications in BMC Discovery and create business service CIs in BMC Helix CMDB, you can sync the services back into BMC Discovery. Let's click on the CMDB connection. Let's go to the details tab and here you can see the configuration section available for this feature. When configuring the sync, you can select an input data set ID, the interval after which the sync should be updated and insert a TPL mapping table to identify which BMC Helix CMDB attributes are exposed in BMC Discovery apart from out of the box one, which are name, short description, market version, version and model. These options enable you to set up seamless and continuous work of BMC Helix CMDB Sync. So first of all, let's select the checkbox of CMDB Service Sync. Here the input data set ID is bmc.asset and we are not going to change it. Here the update interval we are going to set for 2 hours. And this is the section of attribute mapping table. In order to enable that, we will go to Manage and Knowledge in a new window. In BMC Discovery documentation of setting up the CMDB synchronization connection, in the Details section, you have this sample module. You can copy the text from over here, open a notepad, copy paste the content. We will save this file as example.tpl. Click on Save. Come back to Discovery User Interface. Click on Upload, select the file, choose the file and click on Open. Click on Upload. Once the mapping table is uploaded, come back to the CMDB connection. Here we will enter the attribute mapping table name, which is example.service mapping. Once these details are added, click on Apply. And now the changes are applied successfully. Now let's take a look at the demo. Here in the Discovery UI, we will look for the software instance, let's just say Discovery. Open the host, click on Model and select Business Application Instance. We will enter the name as Discovery DevOps London and click on Save and Publish. Click on Yes. Click on Related and we will open the host again. Click on Action and we will sync this host to CMDB. Now let's log into CMDB and take a look at this application. In CMDB, let's open our application. Select the application. Here in CMDB, we can see our application. Right now, this application is still in the data set where Discovery has sent it. So we will go to Reconciliation. We will open the reconciliation job of this data set and we will execute it manually. Generally, in best practice, this is something which is already set up by your CMDB administrator and the reconciliation jobs are executed on a fixed schedule or they are on continuous schedule. Once the reconciliation is completed, open the asset data set and in application, look for our model. And here we can see our model in asset data set. Here, enable the edit mode. Click on create CI. Look for business service, enter the business service over here. We will give the name as DevOps London. Just for the demo, we will add the name as asset data set. And in the description, we will add business service for discovery DevOps model. And click on save. Select our application and connect it to the business service. Select the relationship type as dependency and click on save. Click on review sandbox and promote the changes. Let's come back to the BMC discovery appliance. Go to the CMDB connection. 
click on Actions and click on Sync CMDB Services. Go to the Status tab and look at the section CMDB Service Synchronization. Here we can see that the one service is inserted from CMDB. In another tab, go to Explore and Data. Here we can see that there is a one business service available. Click on that. And here we can see the business service Discovery DevOps London Asset Dataset. This is the business service that coursing from CMDB as included over here with the tag. And now in Discovery, you can see the model created in Discovery. And here you can see the complete model. Scroll down on this page and here you can see that the information that was available for this model in CMDB is also automatically synced here in Discovery. So this synchronization works something like this. The business application node has to be created in BMC Discovery using SAM, CAM or TPL. Normal outgoing CMDB sync has created corresponding BMC application CI in import data set in BMC Helix CMDB. The BMC application CI have been reconciled in asset dataset. Business service CI are created in asset dataset with BMC dependency relationship to those BMC application CIs. For prerequisite description and more details, please look at our BMC discovery documentation about this feature. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.